and action. Carol had a question on afternoon crash, and uh, it hits a lot of folks, but sometimes if we anticipate, don't think of it as I have to nap, but uh, in European countries, in South America and Asia, it's mandatory that people take an afternoon siesta, and it's okay. But if I have somebody, you're here in America, we don't need to sleep, right? Uh, if I have somebody that has a difficulty with sleep at night, but yet is having to recharge with a nap during the day, I might say first, get a better night's sleep. And if that's continuous and refreshing in the morning, you don't need to indulge in caffeine, you're not falling asleep at the wheel, then fine, you can take your nap. It's healthy. But if you're taking your nap in the day, especially if it's greater than 30 minutes, plus your nighttime is terrible sleep and you're waking up just totally zonked out, having to hit the snooze button a couple times, try to avoid the midday crash with a couple things that you can do. Number one, in Carol's case, if she was crashing at two, uh, 3 or 4 o'clock, I would ex look back and say, what did we do at 1 or 2 o'clock that might have induced that wave of sleepiness? It's sometimes referred to as the adrenal dive. Uh, but that's my term. But it, it because if you're starting your day off, if you watch my tutorial, my question, Dr. Rick question, adrenal recharging. Um, it, it, if you start your day off with a low cortisol level, by afternoon it'll be even lower, and that's when you need to take a nap or fall asleep at the wheel or need a cup of coffee again. But uh, in many cases, it might not be that. It might just be you had too heavy of a carbohydrate meal. If your meal at one or two o'clock is heavy loaded with carbohydrates, carbohydrates cause a wave of relaxation because a heavy carbohydrate meal, or in some cases a meal that's been pulverized into a shake form, will sometimes alert the body that it has to secrete a lot of insulin. When you have a lot of insulin secreted to take care of that big wave of carbohydrate, and then what happens is it takes care of the carbohydrate. It allows all the carbohydrate to get out of the bloodstream, out of the delicate blood vessels with delicate linings into the cell where it's tucked away. But after all that glucose is pushed out of the bloodstream, the insulin is still around and it dives down low and you actually become hypoglycemic, irritable, hunting, tired. So that's the postprandial crash. Um, insulin dumping it's called and for that if you do more of a whole food maybe more protein heavy meal you won't have as much insulin secreted and you'll avoid that hormonal wave so that's one trick another trick volume if you don't have as much of a volume in a big meal wise then it might also keep the stretch receptors from getting too stretched and you might have a little bit of a hunger without the hunting that you get from starvation, but you'll have a little hunger that keeps you awake and you'll avoid the dump at uh, three or four o'clock. The other thing to do is, what I do, matcha is very stimulating. It's a green tea, it doesn't have any caffeine, but it's very stimulating. I happen to find this in packet form. This is from Jewel Osco down the street. Or I go to David's Tea and I buy the powdered form. David's Tea powdered form is really cool, but you, you have to have a whisker. Uh, sorry, that's kind of crappy looking. That's the actual matcha. Uh, the matcha uh, it has to be uh, whisked up. I gotta clean my whisker. But uh, usually this in a cup of tea will wake me up without giving me the caffeine shakes. Uh, really nice if you don't wanna have caffeine in you because taking too much caffeine at one, two, three o'clock can actually uh, irritate you and affect your sleep at eight or nine o'clock. The other thing to consider Rhodiola. Rhodiola is an adaptogen, really good for a mood disorder, anxiety. Well, it's more for depression, but because it also is a stimulant, this can make you irritated. Sometimes if I take this too much, I do it in the morning, occasionally if I had a bad night's sleep, or if I have a lot of uh, videos I have to film and I didn't sleep that night, I'll do this in the morning. It makes me a little irritated. So I try to go with more natural stuff. Um, D-ribose by... Uh, D-ribose by Shine and B12 in powder form. Both of these things together are great. Jacob Teitelbaum uh, introduced me to this. Great stuff. You can get it from his website pretty cheap. Um, or D-ribose is plentiful elsewhere. 
essentially a sugar and a B12 vitamin that uh, causes stimulation. Those things in addition to exercise. If you do a couple of Jack Lane sets of exercises just for like five minutes at one or two o'clock, it'll give you a little bit of an adrenaline rush. Not so much that you're sweaty or tired and not so much that you're pumped, just to do a couple things or even core exercises. See my video, Dr. Rick tutorial exercise, Jack Lane style, one and two, Dr. Rick tutorial core. And you'll get an idea of what you can do on your own, just real quick, real quick, so that you uh, stimulate again in a hormone wave to get you pumped up. And that'll hopefully carry you through that three o'clock adrenaline dive um, and you won't have to take a nap. Do that a couple of days or a couple of weeks straight and you'll reset your clock. That'll be resetting it during the day. And obviously going outside, you can't see the uh, window, but it's sunny out. It's May, it's sunny. The best stimulus of any drug is actually going out in the sunshine. The total stimulation because the sunshine gets to the eyes. The eyes say it's wake time, turn off melatonin, be awake, cortisol secretion wakes you up, gets you vitamin D, same thing. And vitamin D helps with depression and other things. So getting outside, getting engaged in conversation, trying to avoid boring conversation during that three o'clock time period or boring activity during that three o'clock time period. So that's the most important thing is to plan ahead. Plan ahead with your meals, plan ahead with activity, plan ahead with nutrition. Uh, plan ahead with relaxation practice at night so you can get to sleep. So all that is hopefully helpful. Carol, you shuffle this stuff around. You're already doing great with your three pound weight loss and more energy and less need for melatonin, but hopefully by end of summer, we'll be bulletproof.